space, the final frontier. Today, I am going to be starting my first playthrough into Mass Effect. I will be playing through the entire series, one, two, and three. Not sure about Andromeda yet. I guess we'll see when we get there. I do have a little bit of experience with this. It will not be 100% a blind playthrough. I played through Andromeda. I don't think I beat it. It was a very long time ago when I played it, so I don't think I beat it, but I did play a decent chunk of it. So if I do end up playing that on the channel, at least probably I'd say the first half of that is not going to be blind. I also randomly played a little bit of Mass Effect 2 because my brother owned it, but I stopped very early on because I had no idea what was going on. That will not be completely blind, but probably only like, I would say maybe I tried it for an hour. <laughs> um, but for full transparency, I like to give you guys any experience that I have with these games. So those two will technically not be 100% blind, although majority of it will be. Anyways, I'm rambling. Welcome to a new playthrough. <laughs> if you're new here, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post future videos. They won't all have these chaotic intros, I promise. And here we go. Here goes. Oh, I like this song. Start new career. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Okay, due to your covert N7 status, ID records are incomplete. Please confirm identity from the records below or register manually. So we definitely want to be a Jane. Log in to access your profile. We're going to be Light. Light Shepherd. <laughs> profile reconstruction complete. Earthborn Soul Survivor Soldier. So can I change those? Please log in to access your profile. Manually enter career info and physical stats. Please log in to access your Okay, profile. that's what we want. That's what we want. That seems better. I was like, I thought that I I thought you could choose what you wanted to be and stuff. I am familiar that much with it. Warning. Data corruption detected. Uh -oh. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Okay. Both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Colonist, you were born and raised on Mindor, a small border colony on the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindor, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by passing Alliance patrol and you enlisted with the military for, I do not like that one. You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you tried it. No, I don't like that either. Confirm psychological profile. Okay, we're gonna be a spacer. During your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you alone are left to tell the tale. War hero. Early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Oh, I like the sound of that. Ruthless. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. I think I like the war hero path. <laughs> Honestly, thinking like realistically with her background, I think war hero or ruthless fits the best, although Soul Survivor does work as well. But I feel like if you're raised by two military parents who like their life is the military, ruthless also makes sense. But let's be real, I want to be a warrior. Military specialization. <laughs> okay, 
Soldier. Soldiers are combat specialists ideal for the front lines of a firefight. Soldiers have improved health, can specialize in the use of all weapon types, start with the ability to wear medium armor, and can train in the use of heavy armor. Engineer. Engineers are tech specialists. Using the holographic Omni tool, they can decrypt security systems, repair or modify technical equipment, disrupt enemy weapons or shields, and heal their squad. Engineers can only wear light armor and they specialize in pistols. That doesn't sound like something I'd be very good at. Adept. Adepts are biotic specialists. Through upgradable implants, they can use biotech Bi biotic powers to lift or throw objects, shield the squad, and disable or destroy enemies. Adepts can only wear light armor and they specialize in pistols. So that kind of sounds like magic-iness to me and that sounds pretty good. But I... <sighs> Soldier is still calling to me more so than that so far. Infiltrator. Infiltrators combine combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long range. Infiltrators are trained to use Omni tools, focusing on decryption and offensive abilities rather than healing. They can specialize in pistols or sniper rifles and wear medium armor. That could be good. See, I don't know. I've, since I've never played before, I don't know what I want, like what I'm going to want to use. Oops, sorry. I said I have a microphone. Sentinels combine biotic and tech abilities. Typically, they use biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend allies, though they can also disrupt opponents with biotic or tech attacks. They're more efficient at tech and biotics than other classes, but at the expense of combat. Sentinels can only wear light armor and receive no specialized weapon training. Yeah, no, I definitely want weapons, so. Vanguards are biotic warriors. They combine biotics and weapons to take down opponents and are especially deadly at short range. They specialize in pistols and shotguns and wear medium armor. That, that is what I want. That is what I want. This sounds just like my, whenever I play Skyrim, I'm always a battle mage. I always have to have my magic and my weapon. <laughs> this sounds like the Mass Effect version of a battle mage. I'm Confirm all for it. Facial identification. Okay, we can change how we look. Heck yes! Looks like we got some bad lip filler. Um, I don't think I want to spend time with the... I'm just going to do the cycle of the presets to get to, like the face shape that I want, and then I'll change the colors and stuff from there, but I'm really bad at like actually changing shape of the face. I'm not good at that. Okay, I think I like that facial preset. All right, so we're gonna now change. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I did not want to do. Oops. Can I just change my color? Okay, look at me. I like that blue. I always try to go with like a purple eye if I can. Ooh. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Hair, all right. Um, let's go with the actual style of hair first and then we can mess with the color. These updos are, these updos are odd. That's a ponytail. They, like our head looks very long when we have those updos. I think I'm just gonna go with the basic. I think I like this. Okay, so now let's go with hair color. Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. No, that doesn't look blonde, it just looks gray. That makes our eyes pop nice. I don't know, I think I like the purple. We'll go with the purple. Okay, let's see the eyebrows here. That's a look. That is indeed a look. Oh, I like those. What was that? Three? This is like my eyebrow. I like a thick brow. Thick but tame. That's not bad, but I think I like the third one better. Or fourth one. I don't even know what it was. Okay. Um, we're going to stick with the black brow. The dark brow, because, you know, I'm all about that contrast. <laughs> We look good. Okay, makeup. Let's change the lip color because I'm not digging that with our hair color. No, that's too much of our skin tone. That's not bad. Too light. That looks good too. Too light, too light, too light. Abort! Too purple with our hair. Too blue. I don't even know what's going on there. Okay. I think I like the no lipstick look. I'm not a huge lipstick gal myself. Got a little tight line there. Little eyeliner. I'm a fan of some eyeliner. I don't really see what's changing there. Oh, that's eyeliner with eyeshadow. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Ooh, a thick liner. I like that. Can I get a little wing? 
Can I get a wing? Oh, I'm not even gonna look. I already know that's the best. Okay. That is our look. That looks, makes us look like we're just need to take a bath. Just a nice little blushy blush. Yeah, that works. Scar. Okay, our scar is cool, but let's see what else we got. It's a nice little, like, I've seen some shit, but I'm okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. That's like a Siri scar. That's... That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, um... We look hot. Let's do this. Profile reconstruction complete. Okay, so we're a light shepherd, a spacer war hero who's a vanguard. Except Identification Ooh. confirmed. Combat normal. Auto level up. Points must be manually assigned using the squad screen each time Shepard or any member. Yes, that seems correct. Level scaling. In classic mode, the original 1 through 60 level range will be used instead of the new 1 through 30 level range. XP and talent points regression remain the same, but the number of levels is doubled. So legendary mode, that's the new mode, so I should probably just stick with that. We want subtitles on. Squad power usage. Squad AI only use defensive powers to protect themselves or others. Squad AI will use available talents. I mean, if I'm gonna give them talents, don't I want them to use it? God, I hope so. <laughs> I don't know. Well, what about Shepard? She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of her life. Military service runs in the family. Both her parents were in the Navy. She proved herself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. She's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question her courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I, I like the sound of that. We look so good! In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space-faring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the farthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the Great Discovery in Human- Ah! I'll never know now! Sorry guys, I tried. The Arcturus Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. I love this music, so good. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot, acquiring approach vector. Station secure for transit. Board is green. Approach run has begun. We still look like we got lip filler, but that's okay. I'll never judge somebody for doing what they want to do. It's their body. You get those lip injections, girl. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. What? Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Uh, 
Um... You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Awkward! Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> okay. Access mission computer and view journal and codex entries. Okay, but first, you know the drill. You know the drill. screen lets you view your team's talents. Use the plus to select a talent or its rank. Press A to spend a talent point to gain a rank and the select talent. As you gain levels, you acquire talent points to unlock higher ranks. That makes sense. Okay, so these are our talents. The gray ones I can't do yet. You are Lieutenant Commander Shepard, Executive Officer on the SSV Normandy. We need to speak to the captain. I'm telling you, I just saw him. He marked by like he was on a mission. He's a specter. They're always on a mission. Galaxy We're map? Dragged. Right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're going to give yourself an ulcer. You're going to give yourself an ulcer. I love it. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place specters visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. Hi, Nihilus. No one likes you, so let's talk to you and see what you're about. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Um... They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Damn. Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. I'm glad you're here to help. You sound worried. We don't need your help here. Why did we tell the Citadel? Citadel. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. <laughs> There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. 
Um. What's going on, Captain? Why? <laughs> the Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Um... See, all of these always sound so sassy. And, like, I want a little bit of a sass, but not, like, too sass, you know? Um... You put my name forward, you support this captain, what's the next step? What if I refuse? Well, I'm not gonna refuse. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Oh, cool. So there's like a lot of dialogue options. All right, let's try to learn more about the Protheans. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Hmm. That's cool. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Makes Prime sense. is right on the border of the Terminus systems. There's so much to learn, holy shit! I need a glossary. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. All Just right. give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Uh-oh. What's wrong, Joker? Of course we do. Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Who's Bring the voice of Joker? Screen. He sounds familiar. Oh, shit. Get down! Who's attacking? We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't get evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. <gasps> what is that? Hope you guys don't get motion sick. Shit. Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Status Looks report. like a hand. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Leroy Jenkins. 
Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. I don't know why... Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors Kaden, is a secondary that's a cool objective. Name. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Eh, you're struggling. Screw you. Pilot, <laughs> you're coming with us? Jenkins! I move faster on my own. Oh, okay. Nihilus will scout out Bye, Nihilus. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. I like Nihilus. I don't know why everyone's being we such, like, drop point jerks two. to him. Besides the fact that he's not human. He's very just, like, to the point. What'd I just do? Okay, so our squad is at the bottom. Crouch, okay. Oh god. What happened here? Left bumper to switch weapons for your squad. So whatever gun I have out is the guns they have out? Interesting. Okay. Is that noise? A ship? Wait, who just died? Was that Leroy or Jenkins? Oh, whiff. Oh my god, who just died? He deserves a burial. We can't bury him right now. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Ooh, I didn't like that. Aye, aye, man. I didn't like that. That sounded bitchy. Eh, sometimes we die. Time to move on. <laughs> what? Metagel is needed to heal injured squad members. Omnigel can be used to bypass decryption and electronics challenges. Both can be acquired by defeating enemies and opening containers. Use Metagel to heal your squad. Do they need to be healed? Okay. Ugh! So I know I can crouch, but can I take cover behind things? I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. As you gain levels, I'm use the squad screen. Out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Use the squad screen to improve your team's abilities. Ah! <laughs> I can't read fast enough because I can't read when they're talking. Use attack the target. Have a specific squad mate move to a point. Regroup and follow you. How do I get them to? How do I get them to attack? I thought it said up directional to have them attack a target. I like that we have a shield, very, very, um, Reminiscent of Halo. Oh, maybe it's because those things aren't like a threat. I don't really know what those things are. I've just been shooting them because I just assumed they look like they'd explode or something. Ah! Scutty. Run! Shit! 
want her on my squad. Um, I want to change my gun. Oh yeah, that's better. You're welcome, Ashley. You good? Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth, Geth? haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetic, <laughs> non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Of course they did. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Vale. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Probably not. Move out! I'm sh The mission computer, is that the codex? Okay. Oh wow, so they really give you a ton. Roughly 1200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Salarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. There is lingering animosity between Turians and humans over the First Contact War of 2157, which is known as the Relay 314 incident to the Turians. Officially, however, the two species are allies, and they enjoy civil, if cool, diplomatic relations. That's why Joker doesn't like Nihilus. 50,000 years ago, the Protheans were the only spacefaring species in the galaxy they vanished in a swift galactic extinction. Only the legacy of their empire remains. They are believed to have built the mass relays and the citadel, which have allowed numerous species to explore and expand throughout the galaxy. Prothean ruins are found on worlds across the galaxy. While surprisingly intact for their age, functioning examples of Prothean paleotechnology are rare. Time and generations of looters have picked their dead cities and derelict stations clean. Some believe the Protheans meddled in the evolution of younger races, 
The Hanar homeworld of Kaje, for example, shows clear evidence of former Prothean occupation. The presence of a former Prothean observation post on Mars has caused a rebirth of interventionary evolutionists among humans. These individuals believe the god myths of ancient civilizations are misremembered encounters with aliens. It's fascinating. The Geth are a humanoid race of networked AIs. They were created by the Quarians 300 years ago as tools of labor and war. When the Geth showed signs of self-evolution, the Quarians attempted to exterminate them. The Geth won the resulting war. This example has led to legal, systematic repression of artificial intelligences in galactic society. The Geth possess a unique distributed intelligence. An individual has rudimentary animal instincts, but as their numbers and proximity increase, the apparent intelligence of each individual improves. In groups, they can reason, analyze situations, and use tactics, as well as any organic race. Hmm. Geth space is located at the trailing end of the Perseus arm, beyond the lawless Terminus systems. The Perseus Veil, an obscuring dark nebula of opaque gas and dust, lies between their space and the Terminus systems. Spectres are agents from the Office of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance and answer only to the Citadel Council. They are elite military operatives, granted the authority to deal with threats to peace and stability in whatever way they deem necessary. They operate independently or in groups of two or three. Some are empathetic peacekeepers, resolving disputes through diplomacy. Others are cold-blooded assassins, ruthlessly dispatching problem individuals. All get the job done one way or another, often operating outside the bounds of galactic law. The Spectres were founded after the Salarians joined the Council. For many years, they operated in secrecy as backroom problem solvers. Only after the Krogan rebellions did their activities become publicized. Assignment of a Spectre is less contentious than a military deployment, but makes it clear that the Council is concerned about a situation. Okay, so we don't know the Krogans or the Salarians, right? The Systems Alliance is an independent supranational government representing the interests of humanity as a whole. The Alliance is responsible for the governance and defense of all extrasolar colonies and stations. The Alliance grew out of the various national space programs as a matter of practicality. Sol's planets had been explored and exploited through piecemeal national efforts. The expense of colonizing entire new solar systems could not be met by any one country. Huh. With humans knowing that alien contact was inevitable, there was enough political will to jointly fund an international effort. Still, the Alliance was often disregarded by those on Earth until the first contact war. While the national governments dithered and bickered over who should lead the effort to liberate Shanxi, the Alliance fleet struck decisively. Post-war public approval gave the Alliance the credibility to establish its own parliament and become the galactic face of humanity. Interesting. I always wonder how that would work. Like, would Earth actually come together and become a uni un united front if it was like other planets with aliens? Probably not. The Terminus systems are located on the far side of the Attican Traverse, beyond the space administered by the Citadel Council or claimed by the Human Systems Alliance. It is populated by a loose affiliation of minor species, united only in their refusal to acknowledge the political authority of the Council or adhere to the Citadel Conventions. Their independence comes at a price. The Terminus is fraught with conflict. War among the various species is common, as governments and dictators constantly rise and fall. The region is a haven for illegal activities, particularly piracy and the slave trade. Slave At trade, least fuck. once a year, a fleet from the Terminus invades the nearby Attican Traverse. These attacks are typically small raids against poorly defended colonies. The Council rarely retaliates, as sending patrols into the Terminus systems could unify the disparate species against their common foe, triggering a long and costly war. You can still, like, patrol the perimeter 
of space. <laughs> Kinetic barriers, more commonly called shields, provide protection against most mass accelerator weapons. Whether on a starship or a soldier's suit of armor, the basic principle remains the same. Kinetic barriers are repulsive mass effect fields projected from tiny emitters. These shields safely deflect small objects traveling at rapid velocities. This affords protection from bullets and other dangerous projectiles, but still allows the user to sit down without knocking away their chair. The shielding afforded by kinetic barriers does not protect against extremes of temperature, toxins, or radiation. Okay. So it seems like there's going to be a ton of lore and information in this game based off the fact that I've probably only been playing for like 30 minutes and I just had 15 minutes of information. So this is where I need your help. Typically, I like to read through or listen through all the documents and info that I find. But if there's going to be just like a ton, a ton, a ton, let me know if you guys actually want to hear it or not, um, because I want to make this a playthrough that you guys enjoy watching. So um, I'll kind of go with majority rules there. If most of you actually enjoy listening to these data entries and want to see my reaction or my thoughts on them, I can leave them in. Um, if you're like, we've we played this game ourselves, we don't need to pay attention to those right now. Just get to the gameplay. I'm fine with that too. Just let me know. I can always read up and listen up on these on my own time because um, it, it really seems like there's a lot. So yeah, let me know what you, what you want. Great. Scorpion, light armor. To change your team's equipment, press the button to access the mission computer, then select equipment screen. The equipment screen allows you to equip and upgrade gear for your squad. Press the arrow keys to cycle item types, up and down direction to select an item. A equips, X upgrades, Y breaks down into Omni Gel. So, how do I see? Oh, comparison. Okay, so damage protection 12, 84 for shields. Nice, we definitely want to equip that. Okay, what does Ashley have? Hers is better, his is the same. Ours is dirty, but it's good. Oh, it's not dirty, it's... Thought that was dirt. <laughs> Guess it's doing its job, right? <laughs> Poor dude. Oh my God, those ones got stabbed and cooked. Run to the waypoint to take cover behind the rock. Enter cover by moving up to the rock with your weapon drawn. Oh, so just auto covers? Move to the edge of cover and press right trigger to fire. Hold left trigger to lean out and aim. Am I supposed to be shooting at something right now? Approaching a low object will make you crouch and take cover behind it. Click L to manually. All right, cool. Do we have unlimited bullets? Oops, I just gave him a direction when I was trying to change my gun. A grenade? Bolt A while moving to storm forward rapidly while in combat. Who are we shooting at right now? B to melee attack. So it looks like we have unlimited bullets. It just overheats. All right. It's like a bitch slap with a gun. Open this crate. Pistol, shotgun, and assault rifle. Can I take all? All right. 
assault rifle 150 versus 120. The accuracy is lower. Heat sink capacity is higher. Heat sink is real bad on that one. All right, what does she have? She has the Lancer, she has the Storm. Okay. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here, it must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Probably Hard the Geth. Say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. So holding A is just a nice little sprint. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Yeah, we don't want to end up skewered like them. Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? They're like the Borg. Oh shit. Oh, there they are. Oh shit. That's not what I want. How do I get my assault rifle out? He just ran in circles. I thought I had an assault rifle equipped. An upgrade kit. Heavy armor, Krogan. Light armor. So I can't wear the Krogan, probably because I don't think I can wear. All right, we can give this to this guy. Okay. What is this glowy thing over here on the mini map? There's like an X on the mini map. I don't know what it is though. That door is closed. Security locks engaged. I just want to make sure this isn't something I'm missing here. know what that is and you could let me know that'd be great some locked objects require decryption or electronics to access if any squad member has the required talent you'll be able to unlock the object using the decryption or electronics interface by spending omni gel repeat the sequence of button presses before time expires oh i thought it was gonna be like those you remember those music memory games where it's like Beep, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. You know those things. That was gonna be like that, but no, I'm just literally hitting buttons. Okay. Humans, thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Goodbye. I feel like I've already gotten all the information I'm going to get about the attack 
The Gath attacked for the beacon. We know that. I feel like it's gonna be redundant if I Williams, investigate. Take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Manuel is listening. It. You got any goods in here for me? I love how it's a shed, but there's beds in here. Can I go in there? Oh yeah, right here. Nice. Pistol, armor, armor. Okay, take all. Omni gel. And I don't know what that little circle-y thing means. So I can't wear these because they're heavy armor. Oh, because it has the race there. Oh, so this is for a Krogan. This is for a Turian. Oh, got it. Got it. I don't... So I have a shotgun, but when I do the... Sh the... When I do the bumper thing, it doesn't get it out. That's my sniper rifle. To change weapons, hold left bumper. Okay, got it. Got it. What is this one? Why are they all here? Are the green ones the ones that I have equipped? I don't understand. Why do I just have... What is happening right now? Oh, because those are... Oh, got it. Okay, guys, I'm figuring this out slowly but surely. There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. I didn't see their little faces there. Got it now. Got it. It took me a minute, but we figured it out. Yay for brains. I'm not used to having like a squad that I'm fighting with and I, that I control. That's a whole new concept for me. Sarah. Uh oh. He's not Saren anymore. Or is he? This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The council thought you could use some help on this one. Oh, God. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. He, you can't Don't tell worry. it. He's... I've got it under control. Oh, my God. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. I liked him. Holy shit. So why can't I get cover on this rock? Are we good or what? 
I keep trying to use directional change my guns. <laughs> Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? We don't know about the ship yet, so we can ask about that. too busy to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me... Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. This should help. Let's move out. I mean, maybe they sh could use a pistol. Hiding anything else in here? Electronic skill too low. Oh. Sadness. Commander, it's Nihilus. Oh, Nihilus. You had to go ahead without us. A Turian? You know him? He's a Spectre. He was with us on the normal. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I, I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend I thought he was Gath, rats. though. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform, probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. All right. Don't really know where you're going to go, but Okay, I don't I need to remember how to heal. Hmm. 
don't remember how to heal. piercing rounds. Is that circle the Omni gel? I'm assuming those explode if you shoot them. right bumper to bring up the power wheel. The power wheel lets you use powers and special abilities of your squad. Warp. Throw. Sabotage. Understand what I'm doing here. Okay, I'm stuck. There we go. Oh yeah, those explode. Nice. Recharging. Good. shots is too many shots. I think we can move up. Where are we shooting at? I don't see anyone on the minimap. Oh, there he is. He's too far away. How do I get the... Use those abilities. <laughs> Can I just. Do I have to hold right bumper every time or can I just hit A? So now that's equipped. What did I just do? That seems like I'm not doing it right. So you have to be in the right bumper wheel menu? doesn't feel like that's how you're supposed to do that. Like, I feel like I should just be able to hold, click A. Okay, that's gonna take some getting used to. So he's death, but he still has his brain? The entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. They did not fully turn? So many questions! standing there like, hello bitches, we're here. Sorry, my uh, headphone cord was stuck. 
Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Who's shooting me? Stupid Geth, go away. Oh, he's got a shield. So we already have a, an edge one. We can't use that anyways. I don't know if we have an assassin thing or not, so we're gonna keep that for now. So I need to figure out what the warp does. I could see being quite challenging when there's a bunch going on because they get rid of your shields. Storage locker, easy decryption. So I think that means we can do it. Override using 25 Omnigel. No thanks. It's nice that it has the actual like button location on the screen. Reduce that to Omnigel. I don't know if we have those ones already. Okay, so. The Lancer's worse than what we have. The Reaper. 82 damage. Okay. So how do we, um, let's turn this into Omnigel. Oops, that was the wrong one. I wanted to do the Onyx. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope I didn't want to use that one. So I have the Avenger on already. Let's see. We'll give him the Avenger. 
He already has the storm. She has the storm. Okay. The stinger two. That's way better than what I have. Striker two. Give him the edge and we'll give her the striker. Okay. Oh, I can save. Nice. Okay, I, I am used to like save points in games recently. <laughs> I forgot that there are mechanics where you can save on your own. The Banshee, the Hammer One, and the Guardian? Oh my goodness, so many things. Okay, Banshee is worse. But better for her. All right, let's turn some of these into Omnigel because we have four of them. I don't know if we can sell shit, so we're gonna keep some stuff to sell because there's like 50 Kessler ones. We don't need all of those. <laughs> Hammer time. Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Don't touch Roger, it! Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Dude's about to touch it. Dude's about to touch it! Okay. Maybe not intentionally. No, don't touch it. It's too What the fuck just happened? We broke it. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. What did we do? Oh, it's like a little squid. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. So she's clearly used to his antics. Didn't even phase her. Who are these people? Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. 15 Something hours? Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. 
Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay? I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I feel bad about Jenkins. What happened to Williams? I'm pissed off about the Geth. Um. Um. I'll live. <laughs> I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. Why was he all metallic -y? A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? He's gonna think I'm crazy. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I don't know. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. <laughs> what are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology, blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. They're so You're not going to believe us. As soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. They are so not going to believe us. All right, I am going to stop there. Um, I can already tell I'm going to freaking love this game. I can already tell. I know it is like a highly, highly beloved game. Um, so I had high hopes going into it. But even just from this hour and 20 minutes that I've played, I am already hooked. Um, there's a lot of lore, which I love, but you're going to have to be patient with me as I learn it all and as I remember who and what races and people and everything is. Um, so bear with me as I learn it all, please. Some of the controls are going to take a little bit of me getting used to. If you can explain your best, if I'm doing something wrong with like the biotic abilities, um, from what I can play today, it seems like you have to hold right bumper and actually use the ability within right bumper instead of just like equipping something and then using it almost like a gun. Speaking of the guns, I figured those out, but it took me a minute. So thank you for being patient with me there. Um, the characters seem really cool so far, although I really liked, I really liked Nihilus. Nihilus? Shit. <laughs> I really liked him, but I can't remember his name now. Um, and he already died, so I don't know if this crew is who we're going to be with for the whole game. It probably not, um, but I, I don't know. Um, Caden seems cool enough. I don't really know him very well, but 
he seems cool enough, I guess. Um, but I'm just, I cannot wait to find more about Saren and that lady that was with him. Um, he looked like he was Geth, but he wasn't Geth. But he looked all mechanically, like almost like he was enhanced by the Geth, but didn't fully like turn into the husk things. I don't know. And then that chick that was there that he grabbed the face of, she didn't look at either. So I don't know. There's a lot for me to learn. And I'm really, really excited. I'm already hooked. I can't wait to go to, I think he said we're going to the Citadel to talk to the council. I cannot wait for that. Although it's probably not going to go very well. I have a feeling the council's not going to believe us. Because why would they? We're not a specter. We're just some nobody. Like, I know we have some medals and stuff, but like, essentially we're nobody to them. And we're a human, so it's already probably putting us down a rung. Um, so that's probably not going to go well. But I'm really excited to keep playing because I really want to know the answers to, like, what is going on with the Beacon and Saren and that lady. <laughs> I'm also having a ton of fun. Um, obviously, I'm still on trying to figure out how to work the bio biotic ability mechanic but the shooting feels really good it looks really good i know it was remade obviously but it just it feels really good to play it looks really good so i'm having a ton of fun there and it's just it's cool i don't know it's just cool and i'm excited to keep playing i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any tips or pointers for me please feel free to leave them in the comments below obviously keep everything spoiler free um also let me know about reading the codex and all that stuff do you guys want me to react to it on camera are there some things you want me to read and others you want me to avoid feel free to give me your opinion on all of that so i can make these videos as enjoyable for the masses as possible. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you have an amazing day. Subscribe, hit that bell button when you do, so that you know when I post future videos. Okay, thanks guys.